slightly different video today. Um, I also own a, a 2008 Kawasaki Versa, which is in great shape. And I'm going to replace the rotors with a new set of uh, these Arashai. I've already say I've already obviously I've already got the um, the wheel off. It isn't too bad to take off. I just quick show you inside. Um, the Kawasaki Versa is on my left over there. Um, the other one here is a customer's um, Suzuki v -Strom coming in for a similar sort of job. Um, so I thought I'd do a review of these Arashai. Customer service is fantastic. Um, I've got the uh, mudguard off and I've just added this extension on. And the Arashai box is really good. I'm outside, it comes with a nice little, with the invoice inside there, I think some stickers. Packaging is fantastic. And inside of here, I get to it. Underneath here are the new rotors I'm putting on. And there they are. These are the Arashai rotors. Do a quick comparison over the top. Yeah. So, um, as little says here, no return if tag is removed. So I'm just going to make sure all the holes are lining up here. Make sure it's got, got it right bike. <laughs> it is. It's, it's identical. Holes here are all, are all the same. So I'm going to put those on today. Um, I'm going to be cleaning up a bit areas around here. And I'll do a little review once these are on what it looks like. I can't ride it today. It's, my drive is still way too muddy. But I'll be taking out these Allen's here. Um, I will be polishing these up. I'm not going to bore you with the watching me doing this, but it's fairly straightforward. Take these out, re them back in, and do one side at a time. I'm also going to be cleaning my uh, wheel rim up as well. Okay, I'll get back to you. I've got more work done. So back, work in progress. I have the rotor off. Um, they are they, they are locked tighted in with thread locker and they're pretty tight. Um, so be careful taking these out that you don't strip the bolt heads. Um, I used a, um, an impact to get them out because they're in there really tight. Um, here's the uh, old rotors here. I've cleaned the wheel all around us pretty shiny and good right now. Um, the next stage is to reassemble it all. I have polished, I don't know if you can see, let's have a look here. You can see I have polished the heads of the bolts. They look pretty shiny. And you can see how I shine those up uh, in my one of my latest videos on the match list I showed the, the polisher I used. There is a like a paper or something gasket goes in here and then these will be on top um, so I'll show you when I get it all assembled up so I'll get back to you soon okay the rotors are on I did lock tight the bolts back in I used a medium strength uh, thread locker those um, just in case I'll have to take them off again in the future it won't be quite so hard disease um, medium strength should be more than adequate to hold these on but anyway let's say take a general look I think they look pretty good very easy to fit and the other side is obviously the same go down here and have a look Get the sun shining and the, and the glinting on it <laughs> they look very very nice so thank you Arashai for great customer service. I am not sponsored by Arashai in one little bit. Um, don't know if I can be all focused right in there. There's the Arashai. That'll be the part numbers. Well this tells you the specs over here. I think Arashai make a quite a nice product. Um, the other thing I've got on the bike, I can quickly show you in the carriage here. is the Arashai. Here we 
we've got a little bit of light. I've got an Arashai fuel cap on here as well. And it's just a quick press in, twist, and out. It's as easy as that. Back in, exact opposite. You don't have to press it down, just click, push in, release, push down, twist, and out. Um, I got a little bit tired of searching for my keys, which are obviously down in the ignition. Now this is not a problem. Uh, we don't really have fuel theft here. Now this is my Kawasaki Versi. It's a 2008. Uh, pretty loaded up with bits and pieces. Um, outside temperature gauge, GPS. I have a tire pressure monitoring system, which you've probably noticed on the other rims of the other out there. I got a quad lock. Um, phone holder, heated grips, um, bark busters, um, I've got some tools on there, I've also got this, it's all kicked out with bags, um, top box with lights, um, yeah, registration, I don't mind sharing because I don't know what we will do with that. Um, it's pretty loaded up really for a bike. Uh, next job I'm going to do is I've got spark plugs to do and uh, air filter, oil filter. I also have um, LED spotlights on here as well for visibility uh, be, being noticed. Anyway, just go back to this room a minute. Just mention there's the uh, tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, in there. Very useful piece to know if you've got a slow puncture. Um, you see, you can pull over and uh, stop. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Unfortunately, I can't install them today. I'm back on the bike. I'll just show you back over on the bike again. I noticed that um, I got oil on my forks. I'm going to be changing my my fork seals over. So that's going to be the next job: is taking the fork seals off forks off, fork seals out, changing the oil as well. And I got exactly the same thing to do on the uh, Suzuki V-Strom. He's got the new brakes, not from Arashai, but somebody else, and he wants his fork seals done as well. So, thanks for watching. All for now on the uh, Kawasaki. There will be a road trip coming up too, several road trips going up soon with me on this bike. I'll be doing videos. But again, thank you Arashai for your great customer service and supplying a great product. That's all for now. Please like, subscribe and hit that bell button for more videos. Bye for now.